Hi Aquarius, welcome to Spirit Mail. I'm Cheryl and we're digging deeper into career and money. Last week in the Spirit Guided Energy Focus, you had a lesson as your overall theme for all four categories, but in career and money you had deception, envy, and ace of pentacles. So I felt like Spirit was basically saying there's something new that you are bringing into your reality but you're having some reservations uh, and possibly buying into some negative feedback to some extent. So we're going to find out a little bit more this week. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Show us clearly what are the energies Aquarius will be navigating as we walk through the coming weeks in relation to career and money. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show us clearly what are the energies Aquarius will be navigating. Okay, guys. So we have <laughs> material and spiritual prosperity. We have material harvest. Wow. And we have fulfillment of wishes. Guys, those are some pretty strong cards. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're going to pull an overall theme. So I feel like this is definitely um, a follow-up, obviously. And we're going to see what's going on here. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us clearly... Uh, what is the overall theme? I almost feel like I could read these cards and be done, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to pull them. I'm going to pull all the cards. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit, show us clearly what's the overall theme for Aquarius as it relates to um, career and money in this reading. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Details, details, details. Okay, so um, based on the the touch that we did last week on career and money, and then these cards today, I feel like basically what this is saying is that you know we need to pay attention to our thought patterns, to the way the things that we're allowing ourselves to think about, the things that we're allowing ourselves to adopt when somebody else says uh, that all that getting in your head stuff. You've got a four and a three. Four is firm footing, right? And and I feel like basically Spirit was saying that last week whenever they said, you know, you're you are uh, you're at a position where you can hear Spirit. You're a clear channel, pretty much. Not only that, um, you're coming from a place right here, a firm footing, and you're collaborating with Spirit. You're allowing your intuition to guide you. You're listening closely to the messages from Spirit as you move forward. And last week, whenever it was talking about uh, deception, envy, uh, they pretty much basically said, you know, the people who aren't believing in you, they're not they're, they're not out to get you. Uh, they are envious, possibly, because you just do it, because you just decide and then you do it. And, and, and not a lot of people actually have that um, gusto about them or that that uh, oomph about them to just do it. Uh, but that is who you are. And they're saying, but pay attention to details right now. Uh, not only about your thought patterns, but about the things that you are doing. Because one of the things that we can tend to do, I think, um, me for sure, is, is you know, sometimes like fly by the seat of my pants. So we're going to see what's going on here. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for our friends born into the sign of Aquarius. Please clarify for us what these energies are. Why are they showing up? Material and spiritual prosperity. Um, material harvest and fulfillment of wishes. Show us clearly why are these energies showing up. Clarify them. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification confirmation and validation so to clarify material and spiritual prosperity look at that we have the eight of pentacles to clarify material harvest we have the eight of cups and to clarify wish fulfillment we have justice wow 
Okay, so whenever I said earlier I could read those three cards and just be done, I feel like they're saying, you know, gratitude, be so grateful for the things that are that are happening in your life, for the things that, that you have brought into your life already, the successes that you've had, the growth that you've had within yourself, understanding who you are, right? For me, spiritual doesn't necessarily mean about a spiritual practice. It just means understanding yourself, that you are truly a spiritual being um, before you're a human being and that you do have a connection, right? And so I feel like it's about understanding, about being in gratitude for understanding all that and understanding what you've accomplished thus far. And then you have the nine of, of uh, it's called material harvest. It's the same as the nine of pentacles. It's about independent, right? Independent, financially independent, uh, uh, fin uh, spiritually independent. You have authority over your own life. And then and then you have the fulfillment of wishes. It's like even emotionally, not only in this uh, physical reality, which the red talks about the physical reality, but the green talks about our emotions and, and unconditional love and acceptance. So it's even in that area, as far as it goes with money and, and career, even in that area, you're fulfilled, right? So then you add the clarifiers. So basically what they're saying is, same thing, they're clarifying be grateful for all that you've learned. You've paid attention to details. You've understood how to make the tweaks, how to make the next step better or the next the next adventure better than the last adventure where work goes. The next project's better than the first project because you pay attention to details. And they're saying that. Details, details, details. So so they're saying, uh, and, and, and you learn from every project that you do, you learn from it. And again, they're saying, Walk in gratitude for that because that's something that's really special about you, Aquarius. And then you have this material harvest. And sometimes it means leaving behind um, those other things that no longer serve us, right? And the reason is because whenever we start to uh, bring into our reality the harvest of our fruits, we start to harvest the fruits of our labor, sometimes... Uh, People, remember last week it was deception and envy. Those same people sometimes they they just don't sometimes our relationships change based on our success. Uh, because whenever we're walking in the fullness of who we are, when we're walking in all of our power, sometimes people can't that they, they can't in their minds, in their own minds, they can't measure up. So so it's like they, they try to project onto you their insecurities or whatever. And this says, you know, walk away from that. You're the authority in your own life. Don't allow those things that don't serve you to drag you down. You go find that, that ninth cup. Well, guess what? <laughs> There's that ninth cup. This is wish fulfillment or fulfillment of wishes. This card is the same as the nine of cups in the traditional tarot. So, and it talks about it. This is the energy that you're walking into where everything you've worked for, everything you've wanted as it relates to career and money is going to come to fruition. Look, he's standing on top of his fruit. Here, he's being grateful for the fruit that he's brought into life. Here, he's standing on top of his fruit. He's owning it, right? It, Aquarius, I feel like whatever it is that you're wanting to bring in, Spirit's saying it's there for you. You're bringing your own balance into your life, and you're doing that blindly. And when I say that, what I'm saying is you don't necessarily know uh, every single step to the end, right? But you're trusting. You're trusting that spirit is guiding you in this, and you're going to balance your scales. And this right here, it's like this is the... This is the um, like it's behind you. All the all the spiky things are behind you. You don't have to worry about that anymore, uh, because you've brought balance in. You've gained that authority and that independence in yourself, and it's where you wanted to be. It's in these next few weeks that you're going to start seeing this start to take place. Um, as you walk in gratitude and keep your mind focused, pay attention to your thought patterns. Right? Pay attention to those thought patterns and don't. Um, allow other people's thinking to get you. I just realized I didn't even read this card for you. <laughs> so I'm going to read it. Let's see, 43. Uh, 
The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. It says, um, this is the time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. In all areas of your life. Fine print. What are those little fine thoughts that, that we allow to kind of spin around in our head, right? Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another day. When this card appears in a reading, it's a sign to finesse a project, make small but meaningful gestures, or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after, when it's too late. Clarity and transparency are key. Um, you can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. Okay, so pay attention to the details. Again, uh, last week with that deception and envy card, it really, it really spoke to me that there's going to be some people that that don't necessarily believe in your greatness. Um, But it's not from a place of malice. They're envious, right? And and so and I hate when people say, "Oh, well, they're just jealous." But sometimes people are, in fact, jealous. And I hate using that word because it's so strong. But but sometimes people are, and they can't they can't stand in your the. I heard somebody say it today. The brighter your light shines, the bigger the shadows it casts on others. And you don't shine it to cast. But you should never make yourself small to prevent somebody from seeing their own shadow. So the as you move forward into this success that's very clearly laid out for you, as you move forward into this success, Aquarius, your light's going to shine brighter and those shadows are going to cast larger on the other people that, um, that are not where you are. Uh, emotionally, spiritually, and all that other stuff, the, the the and the and the same people that have uh, almost tempted you to buy into their jargon about how you're supposed to approach whatever it is you're doing. I hope I made that clear. Okay, God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for. You're not better than anybody else. I'm just saying that right up front. Nobody's better than anybody else. Everybody is at different stages in their journey, though. And when our light shines brighter, we cast bigger shadows. It's just the way it works. God guides, angels, archangels, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for our friends born under the sign of Aquarius. Show us clearly what is the PS. We thank you for clear and concise messages. We thank you for love, light, and prosperity. And we thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. What is the PS, please? Okay, P.S. Look, same card. It's it's like you're bringing the balance. You're 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 walking into a place where there's going to be some uh, reciprocity, some equal give and take, and it, it's it's because you have such a grateful heart, because you are truly grateful for where you are and what you've learned, uh, and you've learned a lot, Aquarius. So there, they're showing that again, that there's going to be some equal give and take, some good reciprocity. And there's that Ace of Pentacles again, uh, showed up for you last week, it's here again. They're basically saying, whatever it is, whatever this project is, or this, this desire, or this hope, or whatever it is, it can truly become part of your reality without a doubt. Aquarius, all you have to do is judge yourself worthy of it. This is about a rebirth. This is where you're truly stepping into your power. You're truly saying, uh, I am going to be all that I can be, and I'm no longer going to make myself small to keep other people comfortable. I am who I am, and, and I'm going to step into that in all my fullness. Okay, Aquarius. Guys, thank you so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, ringing the bell, the subscribes, all that stuff. Uh, if you're a passerby, thank you so much for stopping in. It's nice to have you here. And for everybody, uh, go out and have a super duper day. I love you guys. Bye.